Hey, what's up, folks? It's time for my review of the 2013 SummerSlam. Now, SummerSlam is one of the big four pay-per-views of the year. So, let's get right to it. One of my favorite pay-per-views, for sure. I'm going to give you a brief rundown of all the happenings of the show and give you my opinion here and there. So, we had the host of SummerSlam 2013, The Miz, and I was got to be honest, I was kind of hoping... That it would be kind of similar to The Rock's special hosting of WrestleMania 28. Where he gets a little more involved in the action. Fortunately it didn't. Uh, his main thing was arguing with Fandango backstage. And you know he ended up attacking Fandango after him annoying him too much. So yeah. It was kind of a wasted appearance. Because two years ago Miz won the title. So it was kind of like uh, what's going on over here. But you know, let's get on with the main show. So we actually had a pre-show. Uh, for the World Heavyweight, or the, I'm sorry, the U.S. title. And it was between Dean Ambrose, who's your current champion, representing the Shield. And he took on Rob Van Dam. Uh, good back and forth match. Unfortunately, there was some interference due to the Shield, mainly Roman Reigns, and then followed by Seth Rollins. So we had uh, two superstars who currently had a change of heart, and Mark Henry and The Big Show. So, it was kind of uh, interesting seeing, you know, these two guys have a change of heart, which is kind of like every other week, they're good or they're bad guys. But, you know, I, I appreciate RVD getting in the ring every, uh, getting back in the ring, and it's definitely putting over the new guys. Very cool, you know, cool concept for a superstar. Um, then, in the actual opening uh, show, we had an end, uh, a Ring of Fire match, which is basically the WWE PG version of an Inferno match. Uh, Inferno match stipulations are that you have to, uh, uh, you know, set your opponent on fire to win. Uh, and this one you don't have to. It's just supposed to be used to, you know, block out opponents and keep you from leaving the ring. Uh, the Wyatt family was surrounding the ring with uh, uh, Harper and, um, yeah, so... They, the White family decided to uh, you use the smarts that they have up here. And they had this huge black cloth that they draped over the, uh, the, the ring of fire on one side. And they got in the ring and they just annihilated Kane. Uh, giving Bray Wyatt his, uh, I think it's his first pay-per-view win, if I'm not mistaken. And this... Uh, could have gone another way, but they ended up grabbing Kane and took him backstage. So could this possibly be, you know, his indoctrination in the Wyatt family, maybe? Uh, you know, in a, we don't know yet. I know that I've heard rumors that he's filming uh, See No Evil 2. So that could be kind of cool to see Jacob Goodnight. Yeah. Um, maybe the Maybe he'll have the new goat mask or whatever it is. Uh, then we had a uh, singles match. Cody Rhodes taking on Mr. Money in the Bank, Damian Sandow. Cody Rhodes got the win in this impressive matchup. These are two very, very fastly rising superstars. Uh, I think Cody Rhodes definitely deserves being title contention again. Um, definitely enjoy watching these guys wrestle. Really good, solid match. Uh, then we had Alberto Del Rio defending his World Heavyweight Championship against... Christian, one more match. Uh, very, very good match. Kind of, you know, uh, your basic match you'd see uh, on SmackDown, but it was good. Uh, Alberto Del Rio won with a submission. You know, Christian's got to, you know, preserve his body because unfortunately he gets injured every once in a while. So Christian had to tap, but it was a very solid match. I'd put it in the top three of the night. Uh, then we had Natalia taking on Brie Bella in Divas action. Uh, I used to not be able to tell the difference between Brie and, and Nikki, but now there's definitely two reasons why you can tell the difference. Uh, Natalia's finally, finally getting a win. They're finally giving her a little push, so hopefully she'll be getting that uh, shot at the Divas title. But good match, solid. Nothing really big note. Good thing there wasn't Hornswoggle or Kali. Uh, then we had what probably was the match of the night. We had the Beast versus the Best. We had Brock Lesnar, part of Team Heyman, taking on CM Punk. As you can tell, I am a bit of a CM Punk fan. I love Brock Lesnar as well. 
But, yeah. I had to pick a side. I was picking Punk tonight. But, unfortunately, for Punk, Brock Lesnar got the win. Great matchup. People knock Brock. I see it a lot online, in person. I talk to friends. They knock Brock a lot. But, Brock, I mean, you look at him move. He's moving as fast as CM Punk, who's, you know, frankly, almost half the size. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, Brock is a fast mover. He's a two-time double NC. NCAA champion, dude's amazing, he can move like, like a champ, great matchup, loved it, solid, um, then, I was kind of surprised there wasn't any interference by, by Kurt Axel, you know, um, then we had an, uh, mixed tag team action, we had Dolph Ziggler taking, along with Caitlin, Taking on Biggie Langston and AJ Lee. AJ Lee is in full bravado, full crazy chick bravado. Um, good solid match. Nothing, nothing extraordinary, but it was a good match. Dolph and Caitlyn got the win. Uh, maybe we'll see a little feud with uh, with these guys continuing. Yeah. Uh, then we had in our main event of the evening for the WWE title, we had John Cena. Defending his title against Daniel Bryan. Two of the most hardworking superstars going today. People not seeing a lot. Five moves to do and we get it. We get it. But he really does do it all the time. But unfortunately he is injured. He's got a golf ball size thingamajig on his elbow. And Daniel Bryan got the win with this crazy epic knee. Which you could tell took Cena for a loop. Uh, great, great, great match. A lot of fun in this match back and forth. The uh, crowd was 92% for Daniel Bryan. Uh, but, you know, it was a solid, great match. Triple H was, I meant to say, he was our special guest referee. And it was it was a good, solid match. Triple H did a really good job calling the match. And then Randy Orton's music hit. Mr. Money in the Bank himself walked in. Triple H grabbed Daniel Bryan, kicked him in the gut. Gave him the pedigree, and, and Danny Bryan was laid out there in the middle of the canvas. Randy Orton came in, Triple H smiled, took it, took it to the timekeeper, rang the bell, one, two, three, Randy Orton's the new champion. The streamers hadn't even stopped falling down from the rafters when Danny Bryan had won, and unfortunately, he lost it in eight seconds. Can't really say I'm not happy about it. I've heard a lot of discussion on the internet about it. And I think it's for the best. It'd be a good feud to have him chase the title. But Dana Bryan's been chasing that title for a long time. So, yeah. <laughs> not a big Orton fan. Love Dana Bryan. So I'll be rooting for him hard. So let me know what you think of this. Did you have a good time watching SummerSlam? Are you looking forward to the next show? What are some things you think is going to happen? And, uh, you know upcoming installments of WWE television, watch Monday Night Raw. Uh, some friends of mine got to go to the Staples Center last night, so shout out to uh, Kaz and Danny so and Kevin. So shout out to you guys. I'm glad you guys got to go. I wish I was there. <laughs> yeah. Have a great day. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe. Please share. I will do the same for you. Have a great day.